I'm afraid I had to tell Mr. Rumbold about your insubordinate attitude. There are some knickers that I will display and some that I won't. And those I won't are staying in my drawers. <laughs> I see. One woman who knows all about battles at work is Mrs. Mary Elizabeth Jennifer Rachel Yiddle Abergavenny Slocum, head of ladies' intimate apparel at Grace Brothers Department Store. I mean, don't you agree with me, Mr. Granger? If you want my opinion, you've been nothing but trouble since you put foot on this floor. You two-faced old crab. <laughs> the character was custom tailored for the talents of star Molly Sugden. In the early days, when I was in the theatre, we did what was called weekly repertory, and we did a different play every week. Well, of course, you have to play whatever part comes along, and some of them are very serious and very dramatic. Molly was a love. Molly Sugden was a, a wonderful, wonderful lady. I did uh, Coronation Street, which was a British soap opera, um, and Molly appeared in that many times. A another example of this great well of talent, a comedy talent we've got in this country, where they will, they will do the most serious drama one day and do the most wonderful comedy the next. And luckily, in this country, we've always been allowed to do that. But gradually, I, I came to realise that what I really enjoyed was comedy. Out of a great ensemble, Molly Sugden was a breakout star and turned Mrs Slocum into a comedy icon. She does whatever it takes to get the laugh. Then you say, Trumbull, you don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> There's a lady. There's somebody who has the courage to go right over the top. Sometimes you think, come back, come back, where are you going now? <laughs> but Mrs Slocum is equally memorable for a sharp tongue that is often pointed in the direction of her co-workers. She inspired both her assistant and a number of other Britcom characters to do the same. If six frills is enough for me, then two is more than enough for you. <laughs> yes, Mrs Slocum. Yes. Until I was 30, I wasn't allowed any frills at all. <laughs> I suppose after 30, it was too late. <laughs>